Hey everybody, Tom here, and you are just witnessing what was a victory. It was a super crazy ride, so much fun. Holy cow, welcome back Gloomhaven. I needed this after that really tough scenario last time. Um, so, Norman and Crystal, they just barely came into this encampment. They killed all of these Inix um, people, guards and such. There's a shaman here. Um, and in this cave were a bunch of crying children, and we have just killed their parents and run away from them, leaving them who probably to die. Who knows? Um, but yes, I need to go ahead and get this stuff cleaned up, and then we will go clean up our play areas and uh, discuss where we are headed next. Get excited. All right, so taking a look here at Norman's stuff, um, we've got a couple of basic maintenance issues that we can take care of. So let's do that. Um, we can just grab our cards, like always, and these are just going to go back into the tray. Uh, like, like, <laughs> like this. I usually keep these face up so I remember what I did not use last time. Put these sandwiched like that so that I know what I did use. That's cool. All right, then we've got our items back. Oh, there's those right there. These can go here, and our modifiers. Now, you're going to see in a little bit that, well, heck, that's going to be part of what we're doing right now. So let's add in, well, pencil, our um, experience and stuff. So because we were playing on solo scenario level one, we're going to get six experience plus that. We're getting 21 experience, which is crazy good jump. So we had 80 before. We're adding 21, so we're up to 101, which does put us at level 3, and that's going to gain us a check mark. Now, we also didn't loot any money tokens or anything like that, so we're going to get two more check marks from that. Um, so here we go. We get two down here. Well, I guess we're talking about different kinds of check marks. Leveling up will get us one here, and then adding these two check marks is going to get us another. So I'm going to be able to pick two benefits and um i haven't quite decided i have like a small idea of what i want to do but i'm not exactly a hundred percent sure um yes okay <clears throat> so let's talk about that right now but also uh while we're at it let's talk about the app uh last time i mentioned that i was probably hoping to look to use some way to track this information rather than this paper because it's driving me crazy. So there is a Gloomhaven tra Tracker app. I think it's available on Android and whatever. So I'm going to go ahead and show you this. And I am recording the screen so that if this doesn't look good, uh, we can modify that. Um, hold on. Oh, yeah, there we go. How to move a cord. Okay, so what we've got here is we are kind of at our home base and it's showing our general party's information. Um, I have gone through and added uh, Norman and Crystal's information here. And so here, if we look at the party, uh, here's the Darman party. Oh, this is not totally accurate, but here, let me show you how to edit that. Well, we'll do that in a little bit. Anyway, we could look at uh, the, oh, why do I have two Darman parties? I don't think I want that one there. Yes, that was probably from my trial run that I forgot to delete. All right, so we've got that there. Um... And there we go. Okay. And we can go in and look at the players. And um, I'm still using the free version of this app. You have an option to like subscribe and to tip, which I totally plan on doing if I end up liking this app. Um, and here we could take a look at Norman. So Norman is currently at level two and he has 80 experience. And we're saying backspace that now he's at 101. Enter. Okay. In my perfect world, this would automatically update here, but it doesn't. So now we're at level three. All right. We didn't get any gold from the basic part of this scenario, except we did get um, a reward of 15 gold each. So let's go ahead and add that in. <clears throat> Excuse me. So to our seven gold, we're adding 15. That puts us at 22. Okay, cool. Return. Awesome. And one more thing really quickly, he has donated four times to the church, so I need to make sure that I show that. <clears throat> All right, good deal there. So now we need to decide which to, oh yeah, and I am tracking on paper just in case I decide not to continue to use the app. So 22 gold for now. 
pretty exciting. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Next thing we need to do really quickly is there was one more blessing. Oh, hey, look, there was one more blessing card that I needed to take out. So that thing is out, I think. Or was that my old one? I'll just double check. Oh, that was my old one. Okay, I need to take that out. So we've got our two blessing cards out of our deck because if you don't use them, you lose them. We did use one of them. And now we need to choose two perks that we want. I did a little bit of thinking, and I think what I want to do is this one or this one, but I really like Pierce for those stupid shield issues. So, um... Maybe, I think we'll do this. We'll add two Pierce cards. Um, yeah, I'm going to plan on doing that. And then I want to do an add three. That just sounds like lots of fun. All right, so we're going to come down here to our modified modifiers. And we need to find, what are the, oh, these are the old ones that I took out from before. Okay, and then we need to find the plus three card. That's going to get added in. And then we need to find two Pierce three cards. Yes. Okay. That'll be fun. And yeah. All right. We're going to talk about all of these icons when these come up in the gameplay. So get excited for that. But for now, we'll go ahead. I'm going to put these kind of in the middle-ish. And then shuffle them. I usually shuffle before I set up anyway, but just to make sure that everything is well shuffled. There we go. Okay, so now, um, where did my little tabbies go? Oh, right here. We've got our modifiers and our items. We'll just grab these little things here. Struggling. Yes, like that. Get our cubes in there as well. Another little token. And I think, I've accounted for all of that. We're good. Okay, so we are at 101 experience. And one last thing. Oh, struggling, struggling. Okay, so we did do our personal quest. Um, if I remember correctly, for Norman's personal quest here, what am I doing? He uh, has exhausted four times, and then this was the fifth. I need to go back and look up when he has exhausted himself. But this scenario was the Enix. Uh, typing in front of a camera is really tricky. Enix encampment. Return. Okay. So we've got that done. And I'm going to track it again on paper until I make the full, until I've convinced myself that I'm ready to switch over, which I'm not quite ready to do just yet. But for now, I believe that was Norman's stuff. Let's head over to Crystal. Now, <laughs> what a mess. Let's let's see if we can clean this up a little bit first, because what a mess. Okay, modifiers. I don't think we're going to be modifying our deck this time, so let's put that in here. Okay, we can get our items in here as well. We did manage to get the pacifist um, thing, and so let's go ahead and add a check mark here. Okay, I'm going to get rid of that card. Here are all of our um, character ability cards. We'll put those in here. Sandwiched like that. Okay. And we can grab these. And this. Okay. Let's start keeping records of things. First of all, uh, we did manage to pick up gold. And they are worth, or some loot. They're worth two gold each. So I need to add um that oh yes and to norman we did we do that yes we need to add another 15 so we did 15 plus 8 uh <laughs> 23 <laughs> 23 that's gonna put her at 44 awesome and then oh did we add norman's i think we did Hold on, his experience, yes, 21, all right. And so we got six experience points, plus the other six is just 12. Crystal is not leveling up as quickly as Norman is, so that's 79. Still quite a ways off from becoming level three. So we didn't get any extra check mark things here. 
Now, I just realized I forgot. So with Norman, we can add two more check marks there. Cool. And we got to make him uh, experienced. Didn't I do this? I thought, oh, maybe I didn't save it. 101. Save. Oh, okay. And so, yes, you can have this syncing to the iCloud. You don't have to have this. Um, but I do have it so that I could track this information on my phone as well. Okay, I'm guessing this personal quest stuff didn't end up there. I had put it in even before recording, but it didn't. Oh, and then the fifth one, sorry, this is fun, uh, was the, eh, eh, yep. Oh my gosh, NX encampment. I might need to edit that later. Oh my gosh, <laughs> it is so hard, encamp. Mint. Save. What a good use of your time, I'm sure. Okay, so we're saving Norman's information. Let's go to Crystal. So Crystal is no longer at 67. She is at, um, oh my gosh, I just wrote it down, 79. 79. And she has 44 gold. Okay. And she has not donated any yet. And you can see we have... Her quest, she's only done one Gloomhaven scenario. It was the Shadows Within. So let's just save things for right now. Oh, I want to come back. I got to add a couple more things. So I like this app because it's not like pencil and eraser, but it's also like a little obnoxious for me to do on camera. Okay, wait. I thought I already updated this. Yes, and apparently saving is not as nice as I'd like it to be. Kind of just wish it would automatically save. What did I say? 79? And down here, gold was 44. Save. So apparently you have to save anytime you're going to leave the app. Sinking, sinking. Okay. And then we're going to add a check mark. Oops, no, add a check mark. My aim is off. All right. And then we probably need to save again. Meanwhile, on the paper, Oh, I did get that paper. Okay, I wanted to make sure that I put check marks because I'm not sure that I actually saved the information in the app. So, yeah, I mean, this app is okay. I don't know if I'm convinced to use it yet, but we're still working towards solutions. Um, I'm also trying to find a solution for how to track the story that's happening because before playing that last scenario, I had to really go back and look at the scenarios I had played and remind myself what led me to that particular scenario. So like kind of the story that's evolving, I'm looking for a way to myself make kind of a flow chart or something that shows, hey, if you're doing this scenario, here's how you got there uh, and just kind of explains the story. All right. So have I done everything here? I think so. I had a 12. Something doesn't seem right. Well, those are gold notes, 12, 79. Okay, sure. Why not? All right. So then we've got this stuff done. Yes, using that app kind of threw me off a little bit. I was hoping that would go more smoothly, but what can you do? I've already cleaned things up. Okay, let's go to the map and talk about where we're headed and what's up next. Okay, here at the map there are several things that we've got to kind of note. Um, and these are all notable in the app, but given my amazing app usage last time, uh, I'm going to I'm going to stay away from that for the rest of this video and then I'm going to really think if this is something I'm going to do or not. But first of all, the treasure that we found was these horned helms and it was treasure 65. So I'm going to go into the book and try to keep it away from the screen because I don't want any spoilers for anybody. Kind of mad. I wish I had a secretary to take care of these things. Okay. So I am just here look flashing you 65 Oh, spoilers. Oh, I can't. Looking through the camera to write things is tough. Okay, got it. All right, so we have that that we can add into our pool of items. And so, oh, I already I pulled them out of there. These currently are the ones that are available to me. And I just want to put it in numerical order. Let's put it here. All right, so I've got those. We're going to go shopping in a little bit, so I'll just remove this for now. Okay, then i got to come back in the book to scenario three that we just finished. Okay, 
And we need to add locations 8 and 9 onto the map. So it looks like location 8 is going at C18. So here's location 8, C18. This is the one that the lady, after we talked to Jekshara, she kind of told us to watch out for Jekshara. I'm thinking she's probably right, is where my head is. Okay, hold on, C18. C18, ooh, that's in Gloomhaven. Okay, hold on, I gotta walk to the other side of the camera. <clears throat> okay, there it is. Number eight goes like that. Okay, and then number nine is at L2 over here on the other side of the map. Um, sticker number nine. Oh, some of these stickers got punched too hard and it pulls the paper. Okay. So we've got number nine, L2, oh, is off the camera. L2, number nine, right there. Okay. I love the way that these match up with the artwork. That's my favorite part of these stickers. All right, so we got that available too. And while we're down here, we gained a prosperity. We're almost to level two where we can unlock more items. Okay, then back up here, we also got a party achievement, Jekshara's plan. And so let me go ahead and jot that down on our party achievements. It's not a global achievement. It's just a party one. Jekshara's plan. Okay, don't know exactly what that means, but we've got it, and I'll add it, as I said, to the app in a little bit. All right, so we have finished this scenario. I'm going to mark that there, flip over the book, mark it there. Whoa. Okay, we've got that one done. Well, i got to let that dry first. All right, next, let's head back to Gloomhaven. I think it's very sad what just happened. Um... Obviously, we were back at Gloomhaven at the manor, but we still need to physically make the choice to go over there. Um, here we are in Gloomhaven, and we could do a little bit of shopping if we want to. So let's pull over the cards. And I remember I had Crystal was saving up money for something. I can't remember what, but she's got 44 now. Um, and looking here, did I put, what order are these things in? Oh, the ones on the top. Okay. So maybe it was, no, it was not this, but this is kind of a cool thing. Now, I'm loving this horned helmet, or this horn helm, horned helm. <laughs> I think I'm going to have Norman save up his money for this. Uh, because it says, after moving four or more hexes on your turn, add plus one attack. That would be great for all of that running around that we keep doing with our boots and all of that stuff. So Norman is definitely going to save his money for that. But is there something that... Um, Ooh, I kind of want Crystal to have this, but let's see if there's anything else. She's got she's got the most money right now. Um, no, no, I don't think we need a poison dagger. She doesn't seem like the kind to carry around a war hammer. Um, during your range attack, ignore all shield values. Ooh, I do like that because she does so much shielding. I think I kind of want her to have this. I can't remember if she's already got hand items or not. Let's let's double check. Um, here. Sorry. It's so hard to keep this stuff organized in one singular camera space. Okay. In her items. Because this is going to take two hands. Does she have others? Head, feet, body. Ooh, nope. That's perfect. All right. So what I think Christelle is going to do is she's going to add this. So finding her tracker sheet... Crystal is going to spend 30, so she's at 14. Man, this is pretty. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and add this item. I like that item a lot. I hate shields, so you can tell I'm really trying to avoid all shieldedness that I can. Okay, so that's Crystal. I love it. That's perfect. Um, and Norman, in terms of shopping, he's got 22... Does he make another church donation or not? Um, 
No, not if we're gonna save. Oh, you just heard my phone rumbling against the table. Not if you're gonna. Not if we're gonna save for that helmet. So hopefully we'll get the helmet next time, and we can make another donation to the church. Okay, so that was it for the items. Next up is a city event. I want to do a city event while we're in Gloomhaven, and I think we're gonna be staying in Gloomhaven for. I want to go to scenario nine. I feel very uncomfortable with what we just did in the encampment. I'm not sure exactly who to believe, but um, for now, I feel uncomfortable with what we did to those kids. So here we go. City event. Take off the top and try to keep it. Uh, oh, I need to hide the other side. Okay, it says, I've been told you are the group to talk to if you want to get something done around here. You look up from your table at the sleeping lion uh, to see a rustic man in leather armor standing in front of you. This tavern may as well be your office, due to the number of people coming through the doors looking for your help. You nod at the man, and he makes a request. My brother went out hunting in the corpsewood two days ago and hasn't returned since. I fear the worst. If you are traveling in that direction, I hope you wouldn't mind keeping an eye out for him. Uh, demand payment up front before agreeing to look for the man's brother, or agree to help the man in his search. Um, I think after our bad deeds last scenario, or at least the feeling that we have that that was a bad deed, let's go with option B, and we'll just say, hey, we're not, we're not looking for an active job right now, but we'll keep our eyes open. So I'm going for option B, keep the top part hidden. The man thanks you, uh, what does it say? Oh, I can't see because it can, it's like, <laughs> you can't see it, but right here is the timer for the camera. Okay, the man thanks you profusely and gives a detailed description of his brother. If you find him, no matter the condition, please let me know right away. Add road event 65 to the deck, and then we get rid of this card. Okay, so this is the instance that I believe that we shuffle. So I need to find 65. So first of all, I'm going to put this card here. This is kind of my trash pile. What are these? Oh yeah, those are random things. Oh, and it's like broken. Um, I'll be fixing that off camera later when I have two hands available. All right, so I need to find 65. So road event 65 is in here, and I'm just looking at the bottom numbers. And correct me if I'm wrong, but since I'm adding 65 into the deck, that's when I shuffle the deck. Um, somebody had corrected me on that. I can't remember who, but yes. So I'm adding road event 65. I don't think, oh, don't even look. Don't even look. I wasn't looking. Okay. And then we're going to add this into our road events deck. And since we're adding a card, this is when we can give it a shuffle. Okay. Got it. So now we have a road event deck. I think I want to follow up with what that lady was saying. I'm very concerned about Jekshara. I'm planning, I think, on going to Scenario 8, if I remember correctly. That's what she was recommending we do if we wanted to uncover more about the creepiness of Jekshara. I'm looking, yes. If we're going to try to expose her. That's going to be Scenario 8. And just peeking at Scenario 8 really quickly. Um, yes, as I thought. Okay, so Scenario 8 is linked to Gloomhaven, which means we don't do a road event. So I will not be doing a road event. We're just going to go into this Gloomhaven warehouse, <laughs> okay? <laughs> do you like how I'm trying to hide things from you? All right, good deal. Okay, that was my cleanup video. I think and hope that I got everything taken care of. Let me think more about this app, or why don't you guys let me know what you think about me using the app or paper. Um, for me, it was just tough to navigate that iPad with the camera in front of me but that doesn't mean it's impossible and it doesn't mean i can't do it i could also do it on my phone so either way uh let me know what you guys think in the comments below but for now i am planning on heading into scenario eight the warehouse in gloomhaven that will help crystal who's trying to accomplish her goals as well so there we go we'll see you guys in the next video bye